guys! Welcome back to my channel! For today's vlog, I'm going to be bleaching and dyeing my hair gray. Sana, hopefully gray. Guys, hindi na ako nag-bother mag-ayot kasi I'm going to be rinsing my hair repeatedly. So yun, pagpasensyaan nyo na. I badly need toning because medyo brassy na yung hair natin. So the last time I dyed my hair was 2 months ago. I dyed my hair pink. Ito siya. Yan. So nag obviously nag-paid na and tumubo na yung roots ko. Ang bilis tumubo ng boko. Parang kakapag-upig ko lang. I think it's like tumubo na siya ng 1.5 inch already in span of less than 2 months, ganun. Probably because gumagamit kasi ako ng collagen peptides, which I think is very effective. Kaya, we'll talk about that in a separate vlog. Before we start, here are the products that I'm going to be using today. I bought a set from Unicorn Manila. Kala ko nung gustong itry yung products nila since the pandemic started. Pero nung pandemic, bigla silang nag-boom, tapos parang nagkaubas na ng stock. So, ngayon lang ako nagkaroon ng chance to try their product. So, the set includes the bleaching powder. Yan siya. Isa lang yung ginawa kong set because ano na siya, my hair is short pero nakalimutan ko consider na yung hair ko din is makapal. So let's hope na hindi siya magkulang. And the oxidizing solution, 12%, 40% volume, yan siya. The hair dye set, I bought the shade slate and ito yung kulay niya dapat. So hopefully, maging close as that after the end of this video. And the hair color developer, which is... 20% volume. Also, their set comes with gloves, shower cups, and speaker. Cutie! I think it's only 570 and then ito na yung lahat ng laman niya. Very, very worth it. I also got this Vela toner, liquid toner. Alam mo, uso to. Yan siya. It's 050 cooling violet yung kulay niya. It's supposed to tone your hair pag yung level ng hair mo is like 9 to 10. So, magiging gray siya pag tinome mo with this. After I bleach, I'm going to be applying this liquid toner with a developer then. Dapat daw hindi mataas yung level ng developer that you're going to use this with. So, I only got 6% or 20 volume developer. Yan. Titignan ko kung ano yung magiging ending color. And then, I will decide kung i-apply ko pa yung slate or hindi. So, yun nga. Currently, my hair is at level 7 or 8. So, I'm hoping that after the bleaching session, maging level 9 or 10 siya. Ay, wait lang. Ito pala, hindi ko siya sa Unicorn Bidili. I found this on Shopee. I'm going to link it also in the description box. So, check it out. So, the things that you're going to need. Clips. Some hair bands. Yan. Para madaling ma-section ng hair. Kaya ako nakabili ng proper mixing bowl. And, you know, yung brush. So, ito na lang. Pero aware na hindi nyo nagagamitin. And itong suklay na to. Nakuha ko sa 7-Eleven din. So, okay naman kasi manipis siya. So, pwede siya for sectioning. I will make this to me. Pwede hindi. So, before we start, here are the tips that you can use. So first is to wear clothes na willing kang madumihan kasi sis, it's going to be messy, you know. Pero may nabasa din ako na you can also wear white. Kasi daw, pag nag-white ka, mas madali siyang i-bleach. So, pag na-stay, mas madaling matatanggal yung stain. Totoo ba yun? I don't know. Number two, make sure that everything you need is within your reach, you know, para madali lang tayong kumuha ko. Mahasal ka pa. And then number three, section your hair properly para hindi naman masayang. Lastly, and the most important reminder is to make sure you do your research before dyeing your hair, especially when it comes to bleaching. Search mo how to properly bleach, what are the pre and post hair care after bleaching, mga ganun. Another reminder is before you bleach, make sure you soak your hair overnight with coconut oil or kung nagmamadali ka at least 2 to 3 hours before you dye your hair. Pero syempre, being an impatient bleach, I didn't do that. Pero make sure you do that. <laughs> Kada lang gumawa para sa akin. So let's start. First, we're going to mix the bleach with the oxidizing solution. The ratio is 1 to 1. Make sure it's not clumpy and that the mixture is consistent. Side chica lang guys. So, ngayon, Sabado and meron akong OT. But instead of doing my work, here I am vlogging. So, priority is meron ko lalan guys. Pero mag-work din ako maya, maya So, don't judge me please. Fuck! Wait lang! I forgot something! I didn't wear my gloves. Yan! So, mag-gloves po pala muna tayo para di ba huwag ma-damage. Huwag ma-damage. Para hindi ma-stain, bukod sa hindi magkaroon ng stain yung hands natin. Yung bleach kasi medyo matapang ang kanyang formula. So, it's also to protect your hands, you know. So, another tip is to put petroleum jelly around the areas that you don't want. Kapunta yung 
bleach para to avoid yung parang burning kinema root. Like your ears, this dito sa noo nyo, and then sa batok nyo. Yun. Ginawa ka ba siya? Hindi. So, make sure you do that. Fix na natin properly. Wala na siyang lump and it's consistent. At ganyan yung magiging um, itsura ng bleach niya right after. Ganyan. Before tayo mag-apply ng bleach, may section mo yung hair mo and it's better to start bottom up kasi magagalit si Brad mo ang doses. Starting to sting. So After you're done with your bleaching, mag shower cup kayo or make sure to cover your hair with anything plastic just so the heat can really penetrate para maabsorb talaga yung bleach. Te, my worst fears had been realized. Kinulang ako sa bleach. So, kailangan na lang siya ng paraan. So, let's hope na yung outcome nito is magiging okay pa din. I'm going to set my timer to 30 to 45 minutes. Then, I'm going to rinse my hair. I'll get back to you guys. Oh my god, can you see? Medyo naluluto na siya, guys. And pero sobrang dami ko pa din. Sana talaga hindi fail. Hi guys, I'm back. So this is what it looks like after rinsing the bleach. Nag-lighten siya lang na dito sa mga part na to parang level 10 na and the rest of the hair roughly 9. Kinulang ako sa bleach kaya yung plano kong roots after hindi na fulfill lang. Tingnan mo, meron pang sa loob, lalo na sa loob. Ito medyo okay pa eh. Pero dito sa loob, hindi ko na siya nalagyan. Naubusan ako ng bleach. Pero overall, medyo satisfied naman ako. Doon sa kanyang lifting power yan. Cute. Kamukha ko si Mikey! Ganun. Ito si Mikey ko. <laughs> yan. Um, let me tell you what it feels like. So, after bleaching, is it dry? Nag-dry siya ng very slight. At hindi naman siya super, alam mo yung brittle and yung sira talaga yung boko mo. Diba? Tingnan mo. Parang medyo soft pa din yung feels. Pinalaban ko siya using shampoo and conditioner. Pero mamaya after dyeing my hair, hindi na ako mag-shampoo. Next step, I'm going to tone my hair with the Vela Toner developer. So, ito talaga. Tip talaga to. Magpatulong ka na lang sis. Kasi mahirap talaga mag-isa. Aww. Pero, I think I did a good job. I don't know. Let me know. Tala! Ganito lang pala siya kaliit! 42ml! Hindi umabot ng 50T. Ano nangyari? Wait lang, wait lang. Let's hope for the best, sis. Puta rin! Sige ka gawa nun! 1 is to 2 pala yung mixture nito. So, 1 bottle is to 2 parts ng ganito. So, I'm going to pour this dito sa lalagyan ng Bella para sure na sure. Sis, I feel like a chemist, look. Sis, I feel like a chemist, look. Eh, na-mix ko na siya ng maayos. Para siyang gaw-gaw. Gaw-gaw consistency. Tama pang ganyan ito magiging ending nito. May kikun! Dahil ayaw ko maging fail, magpapatulong ako kay sis. We're going to part my hair into two sections and then by part, konting sectioning na lang para hindi ko kulangan. So, 
guys, it turns into like a purple thing after it settles pala pagkatapos i-mix. Kasi kanina, di ba, parang gaw-gaw lang siya. So, magiging purple talaga siya after a while. Kaya pala ganun. mo talaga, pero kamukha ako si Gord. Nagka, buhok mo, Lunox, pero mukha mo, Gord. Okay lang. Ay, naku po! Ito na, may, may cameo! Ulika dito, ulika dito! Maxi! Hi! Hi, guys! Hi, guys! Welcome to my vlog! Sabihin mo! Sabihin mo! Hi, guys! Welcome to my vlog! Nadi bibi lang kita ng kinder eh. Hi, welcome to my vlog. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. So, yun, ito yung result after you tone it. Ito, medyo halo-halo eh. Nag-gay, nag-parang purple, nag-parang bluish. Pero may mga spots pa din talaga na brownish. Tapos naging ash lang siya. So, I will still use yung slate na hair dye. I don't hate it. It's cute. Pero meron pa talaga dito. So, I will um, try to fix that. So, yan. Cutie! See you guys later. After mixing yan, and then section ka lang yung hair ko. Tingin ko magpo-focus ako dun muna sa mga hindi pa talaga siya gray like this one. And then, I will, ayun, cover ko na yung buong hair. yun. Tapos na ako mag-apply ng hair dye. So, surprisingly, hindi lang lagay nung hair dye. Like, ako lang yung naglagay. Hindi na ako nagpatulong. Sobra pa na onti yung one bottle sa akin. Yung one set sa akin nung hair dye. Cover ko talaga lahat. And sobrang smooth na. Susuklay ko pa siya all throughout. I'll set my timer for 45 minutes. Then, I'm gonna clean this up. Final hair reveal tomorrow. So, stay tuned. Hi guys! So, woke up like this, Char. Ito yung end product no lahat ng ginawa natin kahapon. Overall, I think it looks good. Gray naman siya. Nag-gray naman. Close naman dun sa color ng hair dye na pinili ko. Pero sabi ko nga, diba, na parang nagkulang ako sa... Ah, uh, nagkulang ako sa... Saan ako nagkulang? <laughs> Bleach! So, yung taas, kaya medyo brownish na ash lang siya kasi nga, hindi ko na siya nalagyan ulit ng bleach. Kasi hindi ko tinipid yung bleach dito. Sa main hair, basically, hindi ko tinipid yung bleach para kumapit yung kulay. So, nagkulang naman ako sa roots. Nag-back wear sa akin yung dapat kulin yung roots. Pero gawin nyo pa din yun. Pero make sure na you have enough bleach to cover your hair. So, at least, di ba, hindi na ako mahihirapan na ayusin kasi touch up lang ng roots. So, yun, guys, if ever you decide to proceed and um, dye your hair, make sure that, if possible, meron kang katulong. Sa pag-bleach, Make sure that you really resection your hair. Gamit ka din ng foil kasi yung foil, it will trap the heat para mas madaling ma-absorb yung kulay. As for help, lala sa bleaching process, yung bleach talaga kasi magdadala kasi depende talaga kung ano yung level na ililift niya. Yan yung lightness ng hair mo before you apply the hair dye. Doon magdadasahid kung kakapit yung gusto mo talagang color Ito na yung nagtatapos yung vlog natin, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye! Peace out!